Evening. Hello. Just get uh, TV on. Make sure we got some sound. Happy days. Julio. Right there, man. Let me just get it up on the iPad. I don't know why I didn't do that. Cool, happy days. Right, Hank. Just playing some Archimedes. Acorn Archimedes. Hopefully, it's still working. I did manage to get it up and running. Yep, that all looks good. Took me a while to figure it out, mind. I got a mouse and keyboard going now as well, so it should make things a little bit easier. At least it should do. Okay, if I move my other mouse, I can plan where I normally put my mouse, which will be much easier. Yay. Cool, can you stretch these windows out on Archimedes? Uh, oh, yeah, I can. Stretch them down. Ooh, this mouse is a bit. Uh, it's only a cheap mouse, so it's a bit. DPI on it's a bit crabby. Might have to swap it for a decent mouse now, I think. No, okay, cool. Yeah, so basically, I've uh, managed to get some of these uh, stuff up and running, as you can see. I, I do quite like this front end on you, this uh, OS. It's surprisingly easy to use. So, yeah. So I've got some hard drive images with a load of games, demos, and I don't know what that is. Let's double click it and have a look, shall we? Ah, right, that must be backgrounds, is it? Load 3D icons, okay, later, try. They are a little bit drab, these backgrounds. But they'll do a job. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot to change that, eh? <laughs> That'd be nice if it was Saturday night, though. Hang on. I forgot about it. I always forget something. It's a pain in the ass. be me, anyway. That's all I can see. Um... Right, here we go. That should be better. That's probably changed now. <laughs> How's it going, but anyway, right? I've uh, I've been messing around with that link I was given yesterday, and uh, it's actually looks quite nice on the screen. And I've managed to get uh, some images. It took me ages to get them working. I'm alright, but I'm I'm all good. All good. 3D icons. Yeah, it took me ages to actually get them work, get this actually up and running. I, it wouldn't work for some reason. But there was a, a file. Apparently, when you get these hard drive images, you need the file that goes along with them. Uh, as soon as I copy that over, job done. So, what else we got? What else we got in here then? That's cool. So, where have we got a boot? Do I want to look in there? This mouse is a bit shit. So we got demos, pyro, fish tank. Oh, okay, let's have a look at that, shall we? That's fabulous. They don't look like fish. <laughs> uh, that's funny. They don't actually look anything like fish. Okay. Big mouth. Oh, cool. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> okay. That's random. Uh what else we got? Ah, 
Ah, these are like the demos we've seen years ago on uh, like bad influence and stuff of the Archimedes. What I could do with the lighting. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's there's loads of games on these images as well. There's two hard drive images. There's about a gigs worth of stuff. Okay. Uh, 2D waves. Have a look at that. Auto. Looks nothing like wind. Oh, can't cancel it with this one. Ah, that could be a problem. Yeah, just demos, just random stuff. I just thought I'd have a look. I just managed to get this up and running, and that was that. No? Ah, oh, can't click out of it. Well, something is changing the demos. Can I cancel out? Nope. Oh, okay. Random colors. Everything barbarly cancel out. Uh, Alt and F4. I'd probably ask it for way too much air, really, and I. Okay. Let's get the cord. Let's just load the cord again, it's easier. Yeah, just some random stuff, isn't it? Yeah, basically, I had to set this cord up. What you've got to do is, to get it going, you've got to get these two images, or you can use whatever images you want, the hard drive images. You get them set up, but then there's a couple of extra files you've got, and you've got to have that Pacific ROM file, which is... OS 3.10, I believe. And uh, it basically works then. You can still load the floppy disks and stuff. Do you know? How's it going? There's even emulators on you, which is a bit nuts. I didn't know the Archimedes had emulators. Like, I don't know, let's try something. Uh... There's probably no ROMs. Funny things appear there. Sometimes you click on stuff and it doesn't work. That's it. I think it loads it into the OS. No, maybe not. No, it does work. Oh, we got Autofire. God, when, when did the... I'm surprised the Archimedes got emulators. That's nuts. Yeah, I think it's like when they make that hard drive image, they need there's a file that needs to go along with it. It must be like a config file or something that tells it. Oh, I don't know how you load anything in on it, but uh, it's got emulators on you, which is crazy. So, and lots and lots of games. A lot more than I had, so... Try some out. Control. Which one do I run? I tell you what, this OS is surprisingly easy. This is the Acon Archimedes, which I only really explored the when we were playing it the other week. But I found a nice little setup for it for the Mister. Right, it says press or P. Okay. It's quite uh, cool uh, zooming going on. Uh, enter password. What's an enter password? Ah, oh, it's probably because I put P, was it? Okay, please. Uh, uh, Right, it is uh, quite cheap, isn't it? Oh, and I also can't unless it. Well, how do we control it? Oh, that's why I haven't done. Hang on. Uh, uh, down, up. I'm using a different pad. Oh, 
Nope, I didn't do anything either. Nope, that's definitely not playable. Oh, hang on. How would you move left and right then? Oh, hang on. Run stuff again. Nope, maybe not. I'll take it all back. Okay, that's crap. Can I get back to the menu? Yeah, cool. Yeah, there's loads of games on here. I haven't tried hardly any of them, so uh, this might be interesting. This might be crap. <laughs> Who knows? Virus, was it? Is that on you? Uh, virtual flap. Okay, don't do it. Uh, oh, go down, go down, go down. No, no virus. Yeah, it's a mouse size. Let's try, what was the other, what, what was the other name you said? Search. All right, you get it, I got it. Uh, which one should I go for? A search demo. Press a key. Okay. I tell you what, these cores definitely prove that um, the Mister can do thirty-two bit because there's a couple of thirty-two bit uh, cores on you. Ooh, what happened? Trying to figure out how to control it. Oh, hang on. Ooh, that's weird. That's like mouse controlled. Ooh. How the hell do you control this? <laughs> That's weird. Hey, hey, even everyone. Oh, that's weird. You got a controller of a mouse. Right, okay, that's sensitive as well, man. Oh, that's really hard to control. That's pretty bad, though. It's like a 3D shoot map. Control's almost like a helicopter. You gotta, like, angle the ship. That's really hard to... Know which angle you actually go in. Oh, oh that is really difficult. <laughs> okay. Can't control your uh, keyboard either. Oh, that's really difficult. Do, 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 do. It was fast. When it spins around, the controls change as well, which is a bit weird. Oh, dead. All right, okay. That's mad. You need to sort out his bloody controls. That's a nightmare to control. Literally, that's solid. You, you go back and forth, up and down, basically, on the mouse. But then as soon as you change the direction, it all changes. And it's very hard to tell which is the front of the ship. I'm all right as long as I'm going in a straight line. Which is not ideal. <laughs> See, as soon as you as soon as you move the mo mouse around to change direction, the controls move around. <laughs> okay, that's crap. 
That's that's ridiculously hard. Yeah, maybe. That's pretty difficult. That's absolute solid to control. So you turn left and right. Oh my god. Why are you going to go? We'll go really high. Now we're motoring. Yeah, that's really, really tricky to control. I don't even know how to go. Man, I'm concentrating here. Just so I don't crash. Right, it makes sense when you're flying at the screen. That makes sense. Ooh. I can't do road. <laughs> right, that's that's Yeah, that's too hard to control, man. That's really hard to control. I can't blow anything up. I'm rubbish. You can see the thing moving at the top of the map look and the bottom. <laughs> if you turn left or right, it literally flips over. Oh, that's... that's so hard to control, man. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this took me ages to get used to. Okay, we'll, we'll get rid of that. If I can get rid of it. Uh... What if there's an easy way of going back? No. No. Okay, we'll have to reset the core. Yeah, that's 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 tricky. Oh, my pad's deep now as well. I'm trying to use a wireless pad as well. It looks like my wireless pad needs charging. Hang on. I've never charged it, so uh, I suppose it don't surprise me. Right, let's use this one. Right, hang on. There's no way of controlling that thing like that, like our demo. Yeah, it does, I. Hang on a minute. Let me uh, swap some USBs around a second. Right, okay, now we should work. Yay! Okay, let's try something else then. <laughs> I definitely ain't tamed it. Right, anyone know any Archimedes games actually worth trying? That's cool, I got this up and running mine. That's def definitely making it a lot easier. Right, let's, let's start it. Let's go for it. What do you reckon then? Press or should try that. Anything that sounds interesting. Um, Big Bang. Bug Hunter. Burnout. That sounds good. Is that actually a racing game? Ooh. Exciting. Four megabytes of RAM. Free processor. Shh. 
looking interesting. Cannon fodder, yeah, I've never got a mouse, I could try that out actually. The future of econ video games. Okay, can we skip it? Now we've got 80s music, I can't fault it, let's go for it. 80s computer tunes. Yeah, I, ne I never played before, man. It's crazy on the most. It is. It's really hard to control. <laughs> right, how do we start this thing? Oh. Change the resolution, eh? Oh, hang on. We've got, most we got uh, joypad controls as well. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? Okay, what driver should we have? That's, she was the same as the first one, but just a different hairdo. <laughs> That's got to be him so far. Yeah. He looks like he could drive straight. Uh, okay, let's have a... Yeah, they do work. They, I took a bit of um, getting them to work, mind. It wasn't as easy as I thought. I was playing around with them for quite a while to, before I actually got them up and running. Once you get it up and running, it works, yeah. <laughs> Complete four laps. Oh my god, it's power, it's the uh, power drift. Okay, am I starting or am I just... This must be a racing game. Or is it just show me the track? Yeah, I think it did as well. I, I think it did try, didn't it? But it, it didn't make it. Right, how do I start it? Oh, I'm going to go backwards now. This is definitely like power drift, isn't it? Okay, I did have controls. Well, I did have controls. Yeah, it definitely is, but for some reason I can't I can't go. Oh. Maybe I should have looked at the controls. Oh hang on. That's gear change. No one high gear. Bit of it. Oh, I know something happened. Oh, I found it. I got use keyboard controls. Great. Any problems? I don't have to turn left and right. Ah, oh, these controls are stupid. If it allowed me to use the joypad in the actual menus, why didn't it allow me to use it in game? Oh, hang on, then. let me have a look at controls. Yeah, the PC Engine version looks loads better today. <laughs> I think you're meant to be moving. Right, okay. I'm not going to continue. I thought we were in for something again, something we could actually play. Right, see, now we use the... Okay, controls. Right, okay, so... Should I just pick that one then? Right, so that's working.
mouse controls. Oh god, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? So why won't it allow me to... I could probably do a beer, actually. Uh, pressing key requires for acceleration. Let's go acceleration. Um, brake. Left. Okay. Left, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Pity I can't use the joystick. Right. Should be getting something now, I reckon. <laughs> I gotta have that freaky looking driver. You can't see straight. Now we should be motoring, hopefully. Come on. Yeah, I was slightly rinsing that site for all um, the other computer calls I didn't have. There weren't that many, but there was a few I didn't have, which I got up and running. Right, can I skip this? Yeah, cheers, sir. I sort of spent all afternoon sort of picking things off here. Eh? That's a shame it makes you see the entire track before you can go. A 32 bits of power went, really went through with this, didn't it? Right, here we go, then. Speedy, isn't it? <laughs> right, I don't need to break again. Ah, come on. Come on, he's proven to be a pain in the ass to get past. This is definitely the slowest game I've played on here so far. Oh, we both trying to speed it now. 230 kilometers an hour. Looks like I'm going to walking speed. Everything's a blur. Come on. I don't know why I got a brake button for it, to be honest. I haven't used it once. I try and win one race. Any laps I gotta do too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's slow, isn't it? More races even faster. That's fantastic. <laughs> do do do. And this could really do with proper controls being a lot faster. Oh, you can update? Okay. You can use the most of this bit. What should we have then? What have I got? 300. I've got to get a bit of an engine going. We'll have... Uh, uh, have some tyres. Said I'm skinned. Do, 
Oh, I've definitely cut those corners. Oh, here we go. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> right, this looks a bit faster though. Wish you could skip these bits though. side. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Joe. Oh, my God, this is dreadful. Come on. Get past him, get past him. Yeah. He's fabulous. I wonder if he actually run like this on an Archimedes. I don't know how accurate this core is. Probably pretty accurate, I expect. Time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Moved right now. Yeah, definitely more quicker with a better engine. Okay, what well, am I going to buy this time? How much cash I got? My character definitely looks dodgy. 200, is that all? Ah, that's crap. Okay, so... Do I get a gear? I'm going to get a gearbox. What colour can I have? Um, oh, I've got to go pink. Yeah, pink car, that's the way, the only way to go. Do, do, do. Those gear changes are pretty slow. Oh yeah. Ready. Get ready. <laughs> oh, can't believe I'm playing this. <laughs> uh it was going so well as well last night. There's a lot of divers, got some good shoot maps going. Great. To the Archimedes, what's going on? I don't know. Ah, oh, I've got a lovely pink car. I like gearbox, it's definitely faster. There's plenty of room in it. Jamming me in though, isn't he? Oh, come off, it's off. Oh, come on, you get. Right, finally got past him. Something like that, he said. Oh, I might have to use that brick. Come on, move. What are you doing? Ah, come on, I've only got three seconds left. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. It's not good. Come on, roll over there. Go on, roll over. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hey! <laughs> oh, I still had a game over. Ah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the update's pretty bad, isn't it? All the menus are look pretty good. Right, I don't think I can cancel this one, so let's, uh, let's redo the core. Right. Might me never play that again. <laughs> right, so what did you say to play earlier? That army game, isn't it? Uh, what's it called? Cannon fodder. Game I've not really played much, to be honest. Does it also work? No. It's asking for too much. Help. Cannon. Cannon fodder. Try this out on you. I like the sound of chaos. Chaos. Okay. The Royal British Legion. Why the Legion? Oh, because the, uh, the party. This is quite a big game on the Amiga, wasn't it? Any music when you're playing, that's one thing I did like about this game. Kill all the enemy. I played it a little bit, I never really got into it. I remember it being quite, uh, it was quite popular, wasn't it, about the day. I think it did. I'm pretty sure it did. It runs all right, doesn't it? Oops. Alright. Don't scroll in. When the enemy you left. Yeah, it just bugged me, never added music. I like music in my games. seems to run all right, don't you? Like I say, I don't know how perfect this core is. I, I'm assuming it probably is pretty good. Scale template. 
They can't get through the trees, can they? Can't fire then. Oh shit, can't fire when in water. Damn it, I got what my guy's killed. Oh, I've killed Bill. Right, thanks. You've got to be careful of the water then. That's it. Come over to your death. Over there. Do you get upgrades or anything when you click on the. Oh, hang on, I separated them. How do I do that? Okay, we're good. We're good. Get out the water. Oh. Eight firing coming from the left then. Oh, there's one over there. I'm going to go over here. Sneaky one by there. Line and wait Rambo style. Oh, is he actually dead? Oh, no, he's just dead. Okay. Get in the water, get out the water. Uh, oh, um, bad move. I remember playing this on the 3DO. I might have been on the um, CDI. Ah, oh, damn, I've only got one left. I still hear like uh, firing coming from the left. I found the Simpsons, it's really funny. You could definitely do with some music, though. Right, he's just come out of the shit there. Life's over. This is the furthest I've ever played this game. Can I blow that up? No. Hey! Yeah, pretty much. That's right, that is. Same as uh, Barbarians. Spent, uh, you know, 20 odd years training, muscling up, learning to use swords and everything. Touch a bit of water, I die instantly. Why are birds and bats so bad in uh, video games as well? Nightmare. Kill all enemies, destroy enemy buildings, okay? Do, 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 do. So you got so many, I guess you got so many enemies to get through the levels there. Right. Oh, you can drop off here. Can you, uh, well, hang on. Ooh, sneaky bugger.
Hang on, is that a rocket? Got the high point advantage. How do I blow up these buildings then? Can't just keep on firing at it. I click on oh hang on. Ooh. Oh no, I blow these uh, buildings up. Oh hang on, sneaky, sneaky. How the hell did you blow these up? Am I getting it? Yeah. Death sentence going to water. Okay, right, just keep firing at it. No. See, it's got a missile there. Oh, mm, I'm not sure what that does. Messed him up now, wouldn't I? How would I get him back to uh, join together? I want to congeal my soldiers. What the hell do you do to. I just do that. Right, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that split sums it. Eh? Okay, so if I split them, how do you, how do you get them back? How do you put them back together? Shouldn't done that, should I? Yeah, here's Ogs Why is actually a really good game when you get into it. I really like that. Uh, I can click on him to, s to switch to him. How the hell do you join these back together? And also, how the hell do you blow these buildings up? They're like dug in or something, haven't they? This could be a long game. Let's see if you double click. <laughs> must be a keyboard combination or something. Must be like a keyboard combination to change weapon type. Oh, that's pause. Hold that out. Hmm, not sure. Yeah, here's what, I, I tell you, what, I ignored that game back in the day because I didn't think it looked that great. But I played it a few years ago for quite a while, and it, it's actually a really good game. It is literally the first real-time strategy game as well. Or the first proper one, anyway. Right, let's play something else, because we could be here for ages playing this. Trying to work out how the hell I split these men up and get them back together. Well, it works alright. 
we do with figuring out the buttons though? Can I save it? That'll actually work. Type file name. Um, uh, I think I had one. Oh, I can't fit it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's got MI8. Right, okay, there might be a button combination to get back to the menu, but it's just reloading. I don't know if there's any shoot maps on you. You got Swave Avenue, that's on you. I do quite like the OS, though. Pretty good. Uh, right in. Archie man. That sounds good. We'll go with that. Oh, I think we played this before. I think that's the Pac-Man game. I definitely had the joypad working before. Right there. No, no. This keyboard is not like you think you would think it is. Here we go with that. Any suggestions? Archie's oh, supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, Xenon, is that actually on you? Uh, can't see it. The Zor. I've looked on the other disc as well. I don't actually know what's on the other one. Ooh, nice is. Ooh, we can't full screen. Association with Archimedes World presents Game by Chris. Yeah, it might be on there, you never know. I'll have a look on the other disc. Fantastic so far. Best score so far. Oh, he's put himself at the top of the scoreboard. Why not try it? Where the hell is left and right? That's up, that's down. Down, up, fire. It's just exciting, isn't it? There's nothing going on. Oh, I know. Found left or right. Ask me one question. How did uh, the guy who made this game get that score when there's no enemies? How did that work? There's no enemies. What the hell? Right, hang on. Let me reset the Mr. Emily. How did he get that score? Well, Cannonball was alright. The racing game was terrible. <laughs> Let's have a look what's on the other one. There's stuff on you as well. What have we got on here then? Utilities, boot configs, new look. Uh, original OS discs. All right, I probably don't need that uh, image. So that's just apps and stuff. It's actually in here. Ooh, lots of apps. Spark plug, whatever that is. 
Okay. Let's go back to the other uh, disk. Uh, tweak for the person shovel. What's in here then? Um, elite player. Elite came out of anything though, didn't it? Gods, that's a meek game, man, isn't it? If it's the same one. You request. Yeah. M. Dale, Daniel. See if James Pond works. Ah. He is a world champion, yeah. Got no enemies, that's why. No bugger can beat his score, even if you tried. Do, 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 do. Well, last time we played this, the joypad was working. <laughs> You're going to need a joypad for these games. I can't be playing on a keyboard. It's wrong. Ooh. Oh, that is the old, old James Pond. Oh, that works. Uh, cancel. Can't be dealing without a keyboard, without a, a joypad. Uh, lemons too. That probably works. Lo Shang. Got to try Lo Shang out. Oh, Shanghai. Okay. Quite like Shanghai. Moonquake? Mr. Humpy, why? <laughs> okay, so go on Mr. Humpy then. Ah! Mr. Humpy's not, not working. Uh, let's try Moonquake then. Come on, joypad, work. Number one, get ready. All oh, right, okay. Ah, nothing's working on the joypad, though. And these things got weird, bloody button setups. It's like bomb one. Oh my god, that's weird setup. Yeah, look at that. That's a weird setup, that is. <sighs> Why come they not working? Can't find anything decent soon. We'll have to give up and have a go at something good. <laughs> is there a ninja game on you? Come on, every 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 computer I've got a ninja game, at least. Uh, oh yeah, it does. Now that's got to be exciting. That's the last ninja, is it? Yeah, it is. It's quite a nice little start screen for the uh, last ninja. Right, no, I don't want keyboard controls. Mouse control. Okay, that's better than. Nothing. This game wasn't very good. So. Oh. How do you go up then? I can go down. Oh, that's, that's very strange. I can't work out to go up. I can... I can do that. <laughs> on, re on reflection, I think uh, maybe most controls is probably not the best idea. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get past this guy. Ah, run away! Run away! 
run away! No, come on, come on, run away! Do something! Okay, run away, run away! <sighs> Made it. I can do a weird... Come past him. No, 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 no. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that feels awful. Can't play on the mouse, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. She's not looking too good so far. Spending all afternoon to get this set up. Worth it. Really was. Okay, let's go back to you then. Um, Bandit? Anything? Crystal Maze, maybe? Chuck Rock? No. Be nice if I put the Yep, check rock. <laughs> Come on, I got a joypad, so make it work. Okay. Right, okay, let me swap the uh, joysticks. Nope, that still don't work. Oh, I can't play it on a keyboard. I can't be playing it on a keyboard, this silly. Ooh, that's terrible scrolling. Oh man, that's terrible that, isn't it? I can't play this on a keyboard. Ah. Okay, let's give it one more try. Try and find something good. If not, we'll play something else. <laughs> Come on. No, it didn't seem to give you the option. It was working last time, wasn't it? Last time I played it, I was using the joypad. So I was playing that shoot 'em up and a few other games we were, I tried. And that was actually working, but it, it seems to, maybe because I got a keyboard and mouse plugged in, it seems to default uh, keyboard. And the keyboard buttons are all over the place. Dragon Ball. Drop ship. Let's give that a try. Uh, okay, can't do that. Oh, that should be said. Because what, what was that shoot map I was playing before? Um, I can't remember what it was called. But it definitely worked on a joypad. Uh, let's have a look. Repton, that's like uh, Bolter Dash. That is. Not a bad little game, actually. Simon the Sorcerer, Neil. Uh, Super Golf. Swiv. Right, let's try this out a minute. Because this definitely worked on the joypad last time. So I wonder if it's something you've got to configure. It's a PC, isn't it? So maybe I've got to configure the controls. Oh no, that works. Okay, so it's not that then.
have moose again this last time? I can't remember. Yeah, so it's definitely not the joypad there. The joypad works fine. This must be the games. Oh, I hate computer games with just keyboard only, man. It's just not fun. Let's have a joystick option. Cancel back out. Right, so let's just try something random then. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Surprised no one's put Doom on you. Um, pontoon? I don't want to play Pontoon. Or Pipe Mania. That's a fucking nightmare that game is. Pac-Mania, the arcade one. Yeah, I know. you got to have a keyboard, haven't you? So what have you said for there? S for music. So that does the speaker. Uh, This looks quite a nice version of this. As long as I got bloody, I haven't got bloody controls. Oh, I can't play on keyboard controls. Actually, I can't even find the keyboard. Oh, right, the key. The keyboard controls are all over the place as well. Right, let's kill myself and see if I can turn the joypad on. <laughs> Where the hell is the left and right? Come on, kill me. I'll try and go back to the menu and one last chance to see if I can change it to keyboard. Uh, to um, joypad. I can't even find left and right. Yeah, I remember the arcade game of this when it first came out. I said, kill me, kill me. I think there's a pretty nice version of this on the uh, mass system. Yeah, I'm trying now, but the bottom rows, I turn all sorts of keys and it's not happening. <laughs> right, let me just see what it says in the menu. Oh. Up and down, I found up and down. Not left and right. And I found jump. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Okay. Right, does it mention anything about? Shift S speaker, shift qualify mass, define keys. Um, shift in D. Ah. Uh, ooh. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Right. I don't think it's going to give me joypad controls, but at least I've configured the normal controls. Yeah, 
Get those ghosts. The, um, the new Pac-Man games are quite good. The ones with the crazy scoring and stuff, they're quite fun. Where the hell did I jump in? Run away. Up, up, up. Ah, you went that way. Yeah, I think I will. I might go and practice uh, something on the SNES. Do, 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 do. Ah. I need to look online, I think, and see, see if I can work out the best games on you. Yeah, look at that. Let's do it. Core, console, Yeah, let's play something I'm not looking forward to playing. I'm going to have to do it at some point. Seems I've... Uh, I need to find a cable. I've got somewhere. I've got a USB-C cable hanging around. That could well be it. For my... Uh, charger my pad. Hopefully it'll charge off the uh, off the mister. We shall see. Yep, it's alive. Right, hang on. Yep, cool. Charging. Right, here we go in. Oh, I didn't want that. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and play something I don't want to play. Uh, I've done all the other Turrican games. This is the only one I haven't done, and I don't particularly like it. Why haven't you got sound? Oh, yes, we have. Don't particularly like it. It gets really annoying later on. It's got loads of bits in it where it makes you change weapon for the worst weapon. Which will make bits harder. It's really annoying. Uh, I haven't turned it down. Just check it. This is the only one I haven't finished. Ah, what world's quite bad, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I seen a replay of that once. On your right, actually, I need to set up these controls on here first. Yes, right, left, down, up. Uh, A, B, X, Y. Left trigger, right trigger. Let's start. That's better. Yeah, this game's quite annoying. Actually, I'm going to put the uh, scan lines back on.
Might be a bit dark actually. Hang on. Could be a little bit too dark. Shit, what happened then? Alright. Uh, take them off. Got built in scan lines. One sec, just get this set up a second. Now nah, I can't use the integer scaling with the scan lines. It's Q2S looks a bit shit. Get rid of that. Right, I'll just turn them off. Hang on, put the interest scale back on. Yeah, I love the Avatar games, but I'm not fan this one. Smart bomb. Right, I think that's nope. A smart bomb, right? Okay, I got it. Yeah, this. I, I was trying to learn how to finish this, but. I, I get to the, the ship in space. Ah, oh, pain in the ass eyes. I'm gonna have to do it at some point because it is the only Turrican game I haven't finished. Just so I've done them all. using a SNES pad on you know. The music on this as well. Chris Hasselbeck actually did the music for this. I didn't think he did, but he did, but it's like completely off style. didn't like it at the time when it first came out. They used the grappling mechanic in this game a lot. together I'll be I've been putting this one off for a long time. Yeah, get that cupboard in there. The music is nowhere near as good in this one either. The other Tolkien games got really good music.
Yeah, I was playing this on a Mega Drive pad, which seems a bit weird at the moment. For some reason, this, I know the token games can frustrate you, but this one really does frustrate me. Take no enjoyment by playing it. <laughs> Anything up here actually worth going up here? Have a look at that. Probably not actually. in the swing actually as well and see if there is a way of oh you can grip onto that I didn't know that interesting you can grip onto the actual power ups Laser's pretty good at killing them. One level on this that actually music sounds like tons of music. Thank you. 
Game always changes you to the worst weapon for the bosses. I've got nobody yet. Die? Yeah. How long is this thing taking to die? Emergency. I, I want to beat this game, but I don't. I don't know about the music. The music's crap. As much as I thought Ranger and Rangers wasn't particularly very good, I've actually changed my mind on that game. It's way better than this. It's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice game, guys. Yep. Let's go run through this bit as fast as possible, basically. Come on, piss off. Right at the end then as well. This level coming up is the only level that's got terrible good music. Oh, I think the worm level has actually. I thought Hasselbeck didn't actually do the music for the speed in. See, why didn't I have music like this all the way through? I don't know, it's just joypad yet. Feels a bit foreign. I 
fuck would be enough to kill them all. That's the end of the good music. Like the shit music. Jump in, but it won't let me. Branches into the dunes only to leave Turrican in the hands of evil. Okay. Right, this level is the most annoying level in any Turrican game, I think. It'll force me basically to have the worst weapon. There's a bit coming up um, where you fight a mid boss. And uh, have a look at this shit in a minute. Basically, if you've got a good weapon at this point, it's impossible to get to this mid boss with without the weapon I'm using at the moment. And this weapon I'm using at the moment is absolutely fucking useless for the mid boss. You gotta hit it. You literally almost can't get high enough. So this is worse. Hey, useless weapon for this boss. One second.
Right, I'm back. Yeah, so it basically forces you to have this weapon. Which is useless for killing this boss. This next bit's even harder. Hit the policing. Dead, that was all. Oh, shit. Even jumping off that edge, I can't. I can't hit it. Right. No, we didn't. No, it's going to get interesting. Shield. Spread shot. Lane throw. Spread shot activated. This bit's even worse. Now we gotta fight a boss. <laughs> okay, it fell off. It's gonna stop me right back at the top again. I guess one's not too bad, it's not great, it's not easy to hit, mind. But it's easier than the second one. There's no weapons around doing it anyway.
I hate this boss. I'm down here. I'm being knocked off. Game. We'll go from the start. I am gonna have to finish this at some point. Be happy if I could go and CC it. I see we have a better go this time. If I had proper like token music, this would actually make it a little bit better to play. Shield. Just run past everything if I go shield. Power up. One up. Got me the Rangers was definitely a bit of a surprise. I actually quite like that game. Shoot my perceptions is very tricky on it, mate. Yeah, when I was messing around with that stuff with the Archimedes this afternoon, I got some of the ROM sets for the other computers as well. Some of the ones I was missing. I tried the Apple too, but I can't get it working for some reason. I'm not sure if I'm missing like a iOS or something, right? Not if I've ever used an Apple II, mate.
bomb. It's all good hit anyway. You know, mate, how's it going? Yeah, it's this um, Super Turrican 2. It's the last Turrican game I need to complete, to basically complete them all. But um, yeah, I don't like it, it's crap. I'm not a fan. It's, uh, it's quite annoying. I'm going to have to finish it at some point. Just, like, finish it all the token games then. Just to tick it off, of, you know, tick a box. I've got one CC of all the rest of them. See, it forces me to get that shit weapon. This is what I hate about this game. It forces you to, cha to change your weapon for the shittest weapon. It's really annoying. I got all the rebound weapon, it's crap. Right, Andy were there, I suppose, but. Uh, I doubt it. I, I'm not. I'm not enjoying it. So it's like I need to do one though. To be honest, it's just the game is a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna have to get the fire weapon now because I got no choice. Too much grappling in this game as well. Just at the moment, there's things about this game that annoy me. So it's like, mm. I got I, Super Turrican. I love Super Turrican. That's a brilliant game, guys. But uh, I think it went wrong with this game, to be honest. Shield, I should just almost oh, no, gone. Imagine. I do not want to change our weapon. Yeah, he didn't end up with this boss for a shitty weapon. Danger. No, it was actually it's uh, it was actually a new token game. At its time when it came out, it 
was actually a sequel to Super Trivia. I didn't like it when it came out. As much as I loved the original Super Trivia. Remember my mate buying this when it came out, thinking, oh, it's going to be brilliant and want my bag. Right, so that was significantly easier with a better weapon. Yeah, it looks alright, but uh, I don't know. Frustrates me for some reason. <laughs> See, like it makes. Uh, like, oh, you bastard! I hate the force weapon changes. I think you're better off with this one. Is just jump through this level. Yeah, I don't know what it... But I just find this game frustrating. Pretty much the only music in this game that sounds like a Turrican game. As far as I know. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain now, star level. This is not too bad once you know you've got to, got to basically jump off these uh, whatever they are. Sausages. Bread <laughs> Bread right, that's easy enough, that's not too bad. It's next level on nice meat. hard not to get hit in here. I don't think it takes much energy off your mind when you get tagged by your mind, but... Where the smart bombs actually do that much damage to it. I think I was supposed to be the mofo when those things I was running across. Yeah, it's a nice bit of mode 7, nice bit of rotation. Oh, 
I'm your salt suit. Red top. Right, so I'll keep this really nice weapon up to the mid boss and it'll force me to change to the weapon which is terrible for hitting. Oh come on. Emergency. Yep. There's no way of getting past that. You've literally gotta collect it. So would I. It's the worst weapon for this boss as well. It's not bad looking. It plays alright, you know. I just find some of the gameplay choices a bit uh, frustrating. They obviously did them just to purposely make it harder. Well, let me show. Through of dying. Lane throw, power up, shield. I've got a shield, I should make a beeline to the floor on this, I think. frustrating at all. Not a bad place to be really. There's another one over here. Oh, they knock you off. Oh, great. Oh. Not frustrating.
Got school levels doing well. Oh, I haven't actually got this far, so this is all new. Reminds me of um, No More Man. Alright, oh, I thought you could use the size to bounce then, but obviously not. You bounce off the sides as well. Oops, that was my fault. Ah, I didn't get energy back. Emergency. Please start me at the beginning of that. Yeah, this is nice. It's um, nice graphics and really colourful. It's nice, nice consoles, does. I still prefer the Mega Drive. I don't know why, just more games I prefer to play, I suppose. They were both very good. When it comes to RPGs, though, the uh, SNES was definitely king of them. Right, so the next, there's the next. Uh, Health on the left hand side. Oh, no. Right hand side, take it all back. Maybe it's random. You've sort of got to know where they are. Collect them as well, don't you? You ain't doing it otherwise. Yeah, it does sort of look like Burning Force, but not as good. It's a good game, I was Burning Force. The arcade's rather nice. Mega Drive version's pretty good considering. They're on the opposite side. I think they're random placements. Yeah, they are. Man, you, you can't dodge this shit. Definitely cool down a bit. Just run through this and then I shield. Gonna hop. Danger. Oh, what's that? Melted. Oh. Why? Some giant brain. Level 
Lane Pro activated. Danger. Just about did that bit. Oh, NG would have been nice out. You should roll through them either. Yeah, same here, really. Well, that's the furthest I've gotten so far. What's the time? But, uh, Let's try some more Archimedes. The elevator. Let's see if we can find anything good again. Let's give it another go. Give it one more try. There's bound to be games in here you can use a joypad for. Well, they're definitely games in here you can use a joypad for. Right, hang on. Let me just plug my USB cables in. Yep. Yeah, I need more practice than that. Yeah, there might be some hidden gems. You never know. Bamboozle. Um, dinosaur. Let's give that a try. Are we joy part? That's the question. Um, oh, to redefine key. Oh, no, it is still by the keyboard again. How do you start this then? Yeah, okay. I wish I wouldn't stay there for so long. I've changed on the uni as well. I don't know why he's staying there for ages. Um, a gaboon dash. It's more, I, I'm not sure. I don't know how many levels are on it, to be honest. I have to have a look at a replay or something. Okay. No, I said never keep... A lot of these games require a keyboard, man. Can't be dealing with playing games on a keyboard. Look at that. 
I love a keyboard game. Right. Yeah, I can't be dealing with uh, keyboard games. Yeah, but it's how gonna I probably need to see a replay just to see or just to see how pretty uh, far you can go in it, how many levels there are. It's probably not that many levels. Right, okay, so uh That's probably the one we push on the blocks, isn't it? What killer? Kind of thought it worked out okay, didn't it? Burnout was a bit uh, dodgy. When he reads. Never uh, really. Uh, board game with a look at it. Is this the same as the last game? It looks very similar, isn't it? Keyboard again as well. This looks very similar to the last one. Oh no, it's completely different. <laughs> no. I got a mouse, I got a bloody joypad sport. We'll try a couple of more, if not we give up and I'll go something else. Um, what is that? Nothing, whatever it is. So I could do as well. Okay, that one even cancel, whatever that is. Right, okay. Go fast. Uh, all right, okay, so these are just tweaks then, essentially. Um, e type. Listen to racing him. Yes, track volume, okay. Buttons. Ah, oh, no. No joke on again. Yep. Right, look at this. We ain't going to find anything decent. <laughs> I get a feeling we're not going to find many good games. Just a shame. Uh, do some MSX then. I need to mount. In simulator, that'd be the way to go. Let me get a keyboard plugged in. Actually, it might be quite useful for this. Where did we get up to on MSX? When I was going through the games, I don't feel quite full. Hang on. Can't get it in. 
Ruin my life here. Playing out live. Hell, where the hell did that work? There's definitely a USB socket. Oh, fuck. Hang on. I know, it didn't do an MSX3. Well, I suppose technically they did. They did the um, Turbo R. So I suppose technically it probably was an MSX3. <laughs> But no, they didn't actually do one. I think the last one they did was the Turbo R. So this is where we got to last time then. So, uh, okay, Black Onyx. The Brain. Oh, that's right, the Heist. You tried all these out to me. Now, I won't go anything too old on the MSX because it doesn't tend to be uh, that good. Let's try, try Black Onyx too. Edwina, we'll have a look at that now. So, was that on the, um, the Archimedes? I might go for another drink in a second. Getting thirsty. Fire crystal. Ooh, speech. I said nineteen eighty six. It's just going to be keyboard as well now. Ah, oh, it's an adventure game as well. But that, that's an adventure game, so it's going to be a no go. Yeah, anything too old on the MSX tends to require the keyboard to play it. That was Archimedes, would say. It's probably terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think with MSX games, you want to be going for stuff sort of more from like 1986 onwards. See, it says 1986 in there, but it's wrong. Tatsuman. That was Hal Laboratory as well. Did we try that one last time? I think we may have. How? The old uh, Nintendo favourite. I think we may have tried this last time. Yeah, it's a Mahjong game. Oh, I did find a way of going back to the menu. How do I do it? It was a way to uh, go back to the menu without resetting. <laughs> yeah, well, 598 by 216. That's a weird resolution. Isn't it? Uh, why are you not working? Come on. Ah, not working now. Some of the old stuff is fun, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think MSX you want you want to be sort of sticking to stuff. The so sort of eighty six, eighty seven onwards that tends to be better stuff. Plus the early stuff does require you to use the keyboard. I don't tend to have like joypad support. Why is it not? I want to boot that when I do. It's weird this call. If you if I try to boot directly to that image, it doesn't work. <laughs> Dang it! It's had updates lately, so it may have fixed that. Actually, yeah, I'll have to try it out. 
Yeah, I know what you mean, man, about games are like, they get to a certain age, you think, maybe. Right, so. So that's a new game. Is that uh, Ten Sidna Chino? Let's give that a go. 1987. What is it? Loads in quick, so it can't be, uh, okay. Right, okay, so that's uh, one of those adventure game things. Yeah, I like Pac-Man and Galga. They're quite cool. Dig Dug's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like Phoenix and a few other stuff, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. I think as soon as it like sort of uh, 85, 86 games started to get a load better, didn't they? Soft Pro. Tensai Rabian. Dai Fusen. Give it a go. What do you reckon? Predictions? Adventure game? Or not? Maybe not. I'm sure I've seen that rabbit before. Uh, let me just make sure this is actually working in this call. Don't work. Ah. I'm sure I've seen that rabbit before, mind. Come on, find a good game. That's what we want. I think I, I need to go searching. Some dude's done a list of like the top 100 games. <laughs> Uh, Telebunny. That's 83, we'll skip that. I think we've played that before. Tears of the Nile. Uh, okay, let's give that a try. That's probably a venture game. It does look familiar, that game. I'm sure maybe we've played it before. This is probably an adventure game. Looks like it, doesn't it? I know, sir. Played this before. Yeah, I played this before. two players at the same time in this. No food. Oh god, yeah, this is, uh... Oh, no, there's loads of good games on the MSX, man. Just gotta find the bloody things. Metal Jesus, yeah, I don't think he's, uh... I don't think he does MSX. Oh, they're after me. bit cheap. Yep, 20 hidden gems. <laughs> but if you look online, they all go to the gem list, like uh, Space Manbo, the Nemesis games, which are all cool. Fair play, like, but there's bound to be some other very unusual stuff on here that's good. Uh, that's too early, we'll skip that. Tank Battalion, that's I've played that before actually. Uh Takura Densen. Densetsu. So that's adventure, I believe. Oh no, 
Uh, yeah, Dentetsu's Avenger, I think. Got ninjas. Oof, no we're talking. Hey. What else can I do? Kick a punch. It reminds me of that other game I was playing. Yeah, it's got the bounce pads as well. It's exactly like that other ninja game we were playing. Unless is, this is that ninja game. <laughs> Music's fantastic. <laughs> is this the game we were playing before? Yeah, it is. This game is solid. Oh. It does get very hard. I don't think I can start the music for much longer. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I think it's like level six is ridiculously hard. <laughs> Bugger, I can't be asked going back down for it. Yeah, that game is, is odd, not particularly very good. Be cool if there was a Konami list. Because uh, Konami made some really cool games, didn't it? Right. Grand Prix Rider. Virus Brain Dead. The new game, second version. Uh, okay, we'll try these last ones out and then we'll swap down uh, the letter. Oh, that's the original Wonderboy. Takahashi Meijin, no uh, Boka Jimmy. Takahashi Meijin, no Boka Jimmy. Just rolls off a tongue. Actually, it looks like it, bro. I love that MSX scrolling, it's great. Please try it, though. I'm not a massive fan of the original Wonder Boy. I like it, but... the remake the other day. A uh, cheap one you can get. Looks a little bit like a mobile phone game. I didn't bother with it because it looks like a mobile phone game. But I was playing it on my mate's PS4 the other day. It's actually quite nice. Oh, I tell you what. It's very hard to get a bit of a momentum going. Into Donkey Kong sounds cool. Colourful. The controls you you can't hold on you know like a wonder boy, you know we hold on the button to go a little bit faster. It hasn't got it. It's got like a, a momentum speed thing. I know Wonder Boy had a bit of a momentum to it. Yeah, but that cheap Wonder Boy remake is actually pretty nice. 
and it, it's not an exact remake of the original game. It is. It's got new levels and stuff. A lot better looking. A lot better when playing than I thought it was going to be. I gotta be honest. I'm sure it goes for like about four quid. automatic oh, it's motorbike racing it. oh that's so weird it's the thing about motorbike games isn't it when they Turn the screen, this is a little bit odd. Oh, it's amazing how far games have moved on here. Yeah, it was a good conversion on the mass system. It was really good, actually. Same as, um, I got rid of all the Wonder Boy games on the mass system. Really good. Wonder Boy 2 in Monsterland as well is a pretty amazing conversion of the arcade. On the mass system. side. Won't get past him. That's not too bad. Please, reason to be okay. The bikes are quite hard to get past. Can you are. Eh, it's okay. Not terrible. Not enough for me to have another go of it, mind, but... Yeah, the math system did uh, really well, didn't it, with its conversions and stuff, you know, especially games that it had no chance of doing. It's like the hang-on conversion is pretty good as well. It's a little bit basic, but it's pretty decent for what it is. <laughs> it probably is, actually. Right, this is a newish game, so let's try this out. Obviously a fan-made one. Oh, right, the keyboard only one. Why would, you, why would you do a new MSX game? And then keyboard only. Don't make any sense. This is quite cheap as well, aren't they? Some of these homebrew games are quite decent.
Yeah, that's quite basic. Okay, let's change like that. Yeah, that hang on GP ninety five is is I don't know. It's it's okay, I suppose. Yeah, it, it you know, obviously it couldn't compete with the arcade machine, could it? Uh, the mass system one, but uh, for what it is, it was pretty decent. Even though a little bit basic, if you know what I mean. Right, so we've gone we've gone all the way down to T. So let's go to S. Probably like all consoles, there's a million games in S. First one, shmup. Uh, okay, so I'll go there. There's some classics for you, mine, Salamander. So does this do what it says on the tin? I think I've played this before, actually. I scroll it. Music's quite cool as well. Hopefully next week we'll get uh, a load of Sega games on the uh, Mister. Hopefully uh, Tratego will have uh, enough time to get a load of them working and release a load of them at the same time. the game called Genitos. Sounds dodgy, I know. On the uh, PC. Or Gentos. It's really good. Shoot them up that evolves from Space Invaders into like a, a bullet hell game. It's really cool, it is. It don't cost anything as well. You can get it for free. Ooh, boss it. The fusion is then, so the two ships fuse together. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, they could be Altered Beast, um, Dynamite Ducks, uh, E SWAT, uh, Wrestle War, uh, what else he said uh, was coming on? Um, maybe SDI. Uh, well, there, was a couple, there was a couple of other games as well Golden Axe. He said he's got a lot of them working, but they got a few issues. Same music. Um, what else is this? Um, there was a game I can't. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was about, I'm sure there was about eight of them all together. He's having a few issues with them. But maybe I'll get them released next week. Quite nice to have all the um, System 16 games.
Actually, the other button swaps chips to put them in a different orientation. This is not bad. It's a, quite a cheap looking shooter, but it does, it does the job. Please, right, get an interesting idea. ship didn't come back in. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I don't think you mentioned Alien Storm, actually. Yeah, it'd be perfect if we've got a quiet weekend coming up, because uh, maybe, maybe if we're lucky, next week, you may we may actually get some. Um, let me just play all my MSX games. They're pretty decent. That's not bad. It's called Shm Yeah, I've played that before. That's not a bad little game, actually. Yeah, it'd be perfect if it does. Like I say, I haven't released anything for quite a few weeks now, Ovi, and uh, he's ironing out, hopefully he can iron out some bugs in the week for that, and then uh, he'll actually release a load of them at the same time. Yeah, it's FPGA. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a new game as well. Let's give that a go. Yeah, the Mr's an FPG. So what you get, as long as the FPG calls are, um, are done correctly, you get in pretty much the next fact, best thing to real hardware, I suppose. And in some ways, better than real hardware, because uh, you got all the extra options. Yeah. That's a widescreen. What the hell's going on in this? Press space and it goes sideways. I don't know, that's a bit weird. That's a bloody reasonably new game as well. Yeah, it's a nice bit of kit if you've got the money to buy one, to be honest. I would say, you know... Over buying an analog console, which is very nice. It depends if you want to use your original cartridges, I suppose. But um, yeah, if you were thinking of buying any of the analog consoles or anything, I I get a Mister over that, to be honest. Same sort of thing, just does a lot more. Right, what is that? Two thousand and five. That was a development game. Let's give that a try. Ah, this is on the Mister. I said the original was a it was a computer. This is the uh, Mister call. It's very good. This uh, MSX score actually, it's really good. It's much better than any of the emulated ones I found. Oh, that was a bit of a nightmare to get past, wasn't it? Little fellas in his hut or sword. Right, so it auto uses an item once you've uh, picked it up. This is an odd game. Do you need certain items to get full pass races? No way I haven't got an item, I'm screwed. I can't do anything though. Hmm. It's a 
bit of a oversight, isn't it? Yeah, the um, the computer cores are really good on you. They're pretty much the computers. So the it's <laughs> the only thing I would say it's not like using um, emulation where games load in instant. You've got to load them like the original computers, and you've got to you've got to use them like the original computers as well. So in some ways, as long as you get emulation running, emulation in some ways is a bit more simple to run stuff, but um, it doesn't run quite as nice as this because essentially that, that Mr. Now is, a, is an MSX. Uh, that's the same game, eh? Salamander, that's great, that is. Here we go, Salamander. Nice pack. I think I tried the smooth scroll version before. I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, you can go to the Mr. Wiki. If you go to Mr. Wiki, that explains everything what the Mr. actually is. <laughs> This is good on you. I like this game on you. It's really good. Solid up. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. I can say if you were thinking of getting one, um, I would buy one to be honest. I don't think you're going to be. Uh, you wouldn't regret it. Speed up actually. Mm. Same problem with Ripple, it's a little bit hard to kill those bloody arm things. Space Mambo, that's great. I haven't played that tonight, actually. I'm sort of like going through random games. I say that's good. I find that much harder than the arcade one, mind. Which is a bit crazy when you think about it. Yeah, just try just go through random uh, MSX games, trying to find something decent. There's lots on you, right? That's obviously a strategy game. That's too early. Scarlet Seven sounds like a space game. Saibu Denshi. Um, scrambled eggs. That's gotta be fantastic. Uh, okay, should we try? That's a bit early. I'm trying to avoid the early ones. Let's try Scarlet Seven. Um... 
Yeah, the arcade. Uh, I think it's meant to slow down, isn't it, just to make it a little bit easier. Maybe, maybe slow down in shmups came from hardware that couldn't handle what was going on on the screen, and it's become, it's become a, a thing, haven't it? The slowdown helps you remove the slowdown. They're ridiculously hard. Imagine if there was no slowdown in cave games. You'd have no chance. The cave stuff is like purpose. It's purposely put in there. Right, so that doesn't work then. Scorn. I think that is an arcade game. That's a schmap. Ooh, please, alright, though. I'd have to check some of the Turbo R stuff out, because I don't think there was that many games that uh, released for the Turbo R, and that's pretty much the last MSX they released, which is like the really powerful one. I, if I bought an MSX, I'd like to have a Turbo R, but uh, they're over the grand, I think. But you need the add on to the bombs. Broke a level. Yeah, I'm pretty sure slow down the shmups did did essentially come from uh, hardware issues, didn't it? And then became a norm. It must have started like that. I don't think uh, developers purposely put slowdown in in uh, games at first. Well, apart from the absolute dreadful music, this actually plays right. Seems very sort of exevious, if you know what I mean. So with more interesting backgrounds. Yeah, cave games are hard, especially if you want to one credit them. They take a lot of practice. A good way to get into the cave games is, is you know. Is to get the uh, either the 360 ones or like the shot triggers releases or the ones on Steam because they've all got novice modes, which are quite good. The novice modes. They're quite handy just to sort of like if you're not so sort of experienced with maps, just to sort of uh, get into them. Looking properly in. So, have you got to blow everything up in the background to get to the next level? It does look that way. Lost my bloody things straight away. them up and they can shoot you 
Yeah, I think I gotta blow everything up on the floor. Compile this. That's the way, yep. It is very exceedious, isn't it? You've got to blow everything up in the background instead, which is very interesting. We're gonna break through the backgrounds. It's alright. For an older, cheaper game, it's pretty decent. Those yellow ones appearing in a a bit awkward. The, the block scrolling is a bit of a nightmare on the MSX, but you do get used to it. We've got enough stuff, no go. Some more go. Now I know what I'm doing. I just sort of got used to it. I, I have sort of learned to appreciate the MSX. That was terrible. I hate bad scrolling as well, but... Uh, you know, something about the MSX. A lot of the games may scroll like a pile of shit, but they actually play well. Oh yeah, it's very early looking game this is. Not bad though. Definitely the background to go to. Oh, I hit that last time and I went down. Oh no, you go down anyway. Not very much luck with that powder. That one last one. Did it? Yeah, Astro Boy is actually a really cool game. That's actually a pretty good um, point shooting weapon as well. With really fast bosses. I think uh, I've learned to appreciate that a little bit more than I did back in the day. Some of the bosses are hard on that as well. It's, it's really fast firing they go. That's a beast ball doing. Oh no, I won't take my sort of Oh 
we lost it. Those ones are a pain in the ass. Oh, that's like me. Our oh, after warrior is difficult, isn't it? You need to fire as well. As bad as that game looks, that's actually pretty decent. For, an, for a very old shoot map. Making a list of games that are uh, worth playing. Slowly, on a Sunday, going through it. It's gone. Pretty good. Scoop on. That's a bit early. I will ignore that. Scrambled eggs. We'll have a go there. Oh, then again, that's an early game, isn't it? Casio. We'll give it a try. It's a lot of the Casio games require a keyboard. Uh, yeah, you... Uh, no, I, no, you can't, actually. Because uh, to use a Mega Drive pad, you need one of those... Um, Snack converters, and they, they only work on the, the cores the pads are made for. So, no, you couldn't. If you've got a Mega Drive USB pad, though, with Autofires, you could use that. Mist has got Autofire built in mind. You hold down the menu button, and then press the button you want for Autofire. I don't think a Casio making games, do you? Yeah, this is one of, um, it says trigger one, but it don't work. Yeah, the Casio games. Did that actually work then? No. Yeah, if you hold down the menu button and then press the button you want, you get auto fire. But I use a, uh, I'm not using it at the moment, but I use a PS4 stick with auto fire. I used to have the rapid fire unit as well for the uh, mass system. Uh, Seeker Nicho, Kung Fu Master. Oh, I remember. Why's it called Seeker Nicho? Yeah, some games don't work with a Meg Drive pad, don't they? That's right. <laughs> He doesn't um, kick so fast. He's a kick a bit faster, isn't he? Listen to text is a bit uh, bit ropey. Actually, very good this game. I think it would be scenes got the arcade board, wouldn't it? Terrible laddie. Yeah, he don't fight. He don't kick fast enough in this one. You can't do that. It's more if you've got to time it. Do 
Oh no, <laughs> timed that wrong. Yeah, Vigilante was definitely the second one. Yeah, it doesn't. It's more of a timing game, this one, as you can't you can't kick really fast, on me. Uh, it's okay, I suppose. No, Vigilante was definitely the sort of sequel. Well, you say that, but then again, they did actually they did actually do a Kung Fu Master two, didn't they? But they it, they never released it. So maybe Vigilante wasn't, but it is definitely it's definitely a model equivalent, isn't it? Uh, Seleniac. Okay, let's try out. That's a new game in. Mark Two. It's gonna be good if it says Mark Two in the end. Eight bit music. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's the area. I've never tried that stuff. Yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of, it is sort of a sequel, isn't it? But they didn't really get released. Oh, what is this? Quite a basic shoot mode. <laughs> Maybe these modern shoot marks, you think they put a little bit more into them? Not complaining, but. This is like a scrolling space invaders. Crazy. Oh, not quite that bad, to be honest. Back of the films. Yeah, pretty much. I guess the whole brew game, so I can't complain. Not the best. That's a red Rastan down as well. Rastan's quite nice, isn't it? Not as nice as a mass system one, but pretty good nevertheless. 
Uh, so he's missed that. Sewer Sam. He's thinking he is. I missed the old ones. Um, Shiga Nippon Dexter. Gladry. Yeah, they were all sort of stuff like that, weren't they? <laughs> or, you know, multiple versions of Snake. Quite a big ROM, this one. So I guess this is a venture game of some sort. Is the guy in bed today then? Oh no. Right, uh, unfortunately that's going to be unplayable. Yeah, you can you you can use pretty much any USB pad. It pretty much all work. Everything I've checked at it, I I got a US I got a eight bit dough Mega Drive pad, work perfect. SNES ones do. Um, I do everything I've put I've tried on it. Basically, it just works. Yeah, it's an RPG. Got a big uh, disc as well, mate. That's like four well, one hundred twenty eight K sets, but. It, Almost looked like it was four. It was four meg. Shogun up, hunger soft. Most of these MSX, um, like homebrew games, a lot of them are not very good. There's some good ones though. I suppose it's still worth playing them. Some some of them are pretty decent. <laughs> Yeah, all the wireless ones work as well. Ooh, okay. Oops. Okay, so what have I got to do? Have I got to grab the enemies then? Oh, okay, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab those white dots then, right? Tricky to get. Too slow. goes quite fast man. That's quite out of time. So are those things power ups to make it go faster?
just about. No, cheers, mate. No worries. Yeah, yourself. Have a good week, and I'll catch you. Uh, I'll catch you next week. This is quite good. Bit different. Tricky one again. That's alright. It's different. Is it gripping him? Should call it gripper. Ah, so it's got the ball numbers on me you need to get. So it's the white ones you've definitely got to get then. Tricky one. The red one slow you down. one. <sighs> Got it, but definitely need the, uh, the faster gripper. Actually, move. Interesting. So as long as you can grip another. Oh, okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, see you later, mate. Probably got next week. You can move yourself around the map. So I could put myself in the middle. Yeah. This is definitely different. Quite interesting. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Was a concentrating probably in. Facing the wrong way. It's tricky when you're going to the distance, you go around corners. It is, yeah, it reminds me a little bit like that as well. It's got quite a different vibe to it, haven't it? I like Volfield as well. Definitely quite an interesting idea. Definitely quite an interesting idea. I quite like this. I bet this gets ridiculously hard. I think I learned to traverse around this thing. Oh, the wrong time in hours. Ah. Yeah, that's quite good. Maybe one more go. That's definitely quite interesting. Does that one like extend my power, my uh, my reach? The red ones slow it down. They are slightly different. No, it isn't an Archie game. You are right. <laughs> I thought it was worth a, worth a try in the on the um in the Archie, but. Seems very hit and miss, doesn't it? Do for try though, you know. There was X game it says. It's a homebrew game as well. Quite an interesting one. Um how do we get up here then? Too far. It's the only problem having the fast run. It's handy for picking stuff up, but it makes it difficult to sort of move to places. Um. It's too slow then. Okay. I've got to go up. 
por aquí. Get the can't keep going for ages. Mm. Tricky but interesting game. Not very often, often you come across something that's quite unique, especially these days. But this one definitely is. Yeah, the last ninja port's not very good. You got a lot of them. Got to use the keyboard. He said you can have mouse control, so I was trying to use the mouse on it. It was I couldn't even control it. when they sprint just fast. I suppose that's why they give you a speed down as well. speed. That's quite cool. That's quite an interesting game. Yeah, not a big fan of Last Ninja anyway, but uh, I couldn't control anything. I couldn't go up. I'd go left and right. There was another 3D shooter as well that needed to use the mouse to control, which, I don't know, might have been quite decent, but... <laughs> Try control now with the mouse. That's all I can see. So maybe I should just look online and work out what, what actually are the best Archie games to give them a try. So that is called... Shogani. That's quite good. Right, what else we got? Shogun Meiji. Let's give it a try. That's probably going to be some sort of strategy or adventure game. NL. Not quite sure. What was he? Was that NL? I don't really know much about the Archie stuff, so. Oh, the last ninja, right? Okay, I got you. Yeah, I never got into him. Yeah, my mate loves them as well. I think this is, uh... Alright, it's Shogu. Or Shogi, sorry, not Shogu. <laughs> Shogi. Japanese chess. Yeah, I never really got into the last Ninja series. I know they are quite uh, well loved, isn't they? They sometimes you catch people speed running those games as well. Uh, so a micro cabin. Ooh, shogu, shogi. So that's another shogi game. Shoulder blade. Okay. They are only uh, three years old, guys. Give us a try.
What have we got here? Shoulder blade. That's an interesting name for a game. Crushed in a shield. Overdrive. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is weird. It seems to move around on its own. As forward is rushed. thing I could say about this, it's actually not bad, plays pretty good, that um, cursor could have been a slightly different colour. Maybe like red or something. It does blend in with the background a little bit. Graphic styles remind me of Pleasure Dome. A Pleasure Heart, sorry. Oh, you're not a fan of the Last Ninja series, right? Okay. No, neither am I. This is alright. Are they going to remake Last Ninja in the last couple of years? Oh, come to think about it. Definitely need that cursor slightly different killer. Too easy to lose. Whatever that is, it's firing at me. Because you can't control the the robot. He just randomly goes back and forth himself. Remember the last Ninja games were quite big on the uh, Commodore, weren't they? I think if you look at a lot of um, the older computing games, if you go back and look at them these days, a lot of the games are not that great. Definitely hit me.
Oh, I think I got it. That background's even worse though, that bloody uh, cursor. This is not bad actually. Just wish you could control the actual robot. Ah, double jump, double tap. Oh, you can control him, right, okay. All you gotta do is double tap him to get out of the way. Double tap up does a jump. We did just then. Oh, maybe that's, ah, uh, right, you only get so much thrust, that's what it is. Ah, uh, you've got to get... Right, okay, I got it. To get your thrust back so you can control it, you've got to let go of the fire button. So now I should be able to jump, yeah, I got it. Right, okay, that's how you control it. Helicopters are pink. That's not bad actually. That's pretty decent. I'll put that on the list of uh, games worth playing. It's quite interesting to sort of control it. You've got to have that bar. You've got to have an energy bar and you, you can double tap to jump, double tap up to jump, double tap left and right to boost left and right. To avoid getting hit. Pretty good. What's it called? So the It's gotta be a pun on soldier play, doesn't it? Uh shout match. Okay. You wanna go? Mm -hmm. I got a drink hanging around here anyway. Yay. Oh, I think I've seen this before as well. I'm not sure if I've played it, I might have seen um, a replay of it. Or a replay of a game that uses the same, same sort of technique. That looks dangerous. Screen flashing is a bit of my mind. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a character, I've seen a replay of a game. Might be on the NES, maybe. Same sort of thing, like shouts to move things. <laughs> Okay, it's an interesting message. You can show up. Can't show no. Hmm, that's pretty crap. Yeah, maybe a next game or something. 
Resimmer technique shouting. I'm sure I've seen it on um oh, it was some replay on Twitch or something, I think it might have been. This is going through MSX one. I tell you what, before I go tonight, let's have a go with um the Turbo R games. There's not many of them. That was like the best the MSX ever got. Uh, so if I go back up, there's quite a lot of directories on this. Uh, right, so pass the boot in. Right, so definitely go into games. So there's two sets on here, I think. Um, let's do ROMs. Maybe there's no Turbo R ROMs. Let's try discs then. Or hard drives, maybe. Snatcher. East 1 and 2. Bomberman. Eggbird. Firehawk. That's good. That's um Psycho. Ah, so my, it's on the math system as well. Psycho something. Snatcher. See, it'd be worth playing through Snatcher one day. So what's that? Tetris 2 maybe? Let's try, let's try Firehawk. Ooh, okay. Um... How do I start it? That's the question. Got a boot? No, no boot. I'm um, looking for a Pacific file. Dumbass. No bat. Is it floppy bat? No. Uh, is it language bat? Uh, Normally, a file you've got to run. Oh, no, it's not bad. God, how the hell did you start it? Uh, Maybe you just have to pick one. Try that. Oh, okay, that worked. A game ox. Oh, it's Texa two. This is. Ah, uh, right, okay. It's a weird game, Texa. Everyone seems to be well, well loved Texa. Yeah, I played this for us. It's a bit, um, a bit crappy, like Texa. Yeah, it's a bit weird. You pull down an, uh, a button to change it to a plane. Uh... Yeah, it's a bit weird, this game is. One loves Fexta so much.
be a random spaceship, but... Like I said, mess, very, very messy game. Not first. I'm sure there was Turbo Hour games on, yeah? What's the time? 12 o'clock. I won't be on for too much longer. Uh, oh, I wonder what the screen has got then. Uh, Psychic Chaser. That's quite... That's, that's good, I was. Um, Let's try... I have no idea what this is. No idea whatsoever. Give it a go, whatever it is. Just driving off found. Okay, that doesn't work in. Jim. Try the calm then, because that worked last time. Try that then. Um, let's see if that works. I'll found one for the okay. I'll find I'll found. Right, that was either not the right file to press or uh, it doesn't work. <clears throat> um, I could have one more go of it. Fuck, now you mention I will pick it. I'll have one more go of it. As much as it frustrates me. I think it only came out in Europe. Oh no, I didn't. Take it up. Take it all back. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure how many levels are actually on this game. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. Can't be just to see someone mention a player. And I'm like, I go on, I give a go. It's a definite punishment. <laughs> Definite punishment. I'm your top friend. I'll have one go with this and I'll shoot off anything. I'm getting a little bit used to this joypad now as well. Off screen now, then, me then as well, when you fight at me. It's weird the way the shield, the sort of laser bend is when you jump. need to beat this at some point. I even played through by the Terracon on the Mega Drive. But he was got last um Universe of Soldier, so I didn't have to play this. And I surprisingly quite enjoyed it. I 
And that was just because I, I couldn't be off play for this. <laughs> Four wheels on you, is it? Right, okay. Interesting. Right, so I wonder if this one's a lot um, smaller than the other games then. Not sure, really. Let me see if it's like a new world, is it? <clears throat> All oh, right, she says it. The announcer, stage one, two. Definitely not quicker to do that. You can you can jump and grip, or you can basically just chuck the um, grip a button and he sort of slowly hops up the levels. Don't want that weapon, but now I've got to get it. Yeah, we'll have a look and see what this announcer says now when I get a bit further from it. Hopefully it's short. Okay, mate. She's hanging around. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many levels per world it is. Oh, great. Pops up quick if you time it just as his feet hit the wall. Definitely does better damage. I 
didn't, there didn't seem to be that many secrets on this as well. You were like the, like the other turret guns, didn't there? There's like loads of um, secret areas and hideaways and stuff. This one doesn't seem to have a lot of them. Shield didn't last very long, eh? It's a crappy weapon for this boss as well. blown his arm off end. This weapon doesn't seem that powerful. See what she says now. Stage one, three. Stage one, three. Lane throw activated. Can't get off here then. Oh, man, I kept bouncing me back into the wall. Oh, it worked then. Yeah, that was a pain. So that was one free. So I guess the first stage is where we get to that big boss with spins around.
Oh, well, managed to survive it. Yeah, it is a little bit. I'm assuming once I fight this boss, it'll go to stage two one. Shots. Oh, jumped in and we killed him in. <laughs> right, I'm assuming this is stage one. On your salt suit. But she didn't say a level number then, did she? Easy, but it makes you change this weapon. It's just no way again, Frua. Rebound activated. Rebound. Emergency. This one's not too bad. This one's a nightmare. So I'm gonna die. I hate this bit. 
such a cheesy rip-off that makes you change our weapon. Turrican 2. Or Super Turrican 2. Shield. Shot activated. I'm not a fan of this bit either. The random rocks. Oh, you bastard, you turned around. I think the idea is try and get down here as quick as possible. She's not frustrating at all, not at all. Maybe there's like a, an easy way down. Right. Normally if I come down to you, I can get down there. Jump too soon. That was lucky. Can be done then, without dying. I don't speak Portuguese now, sorry. Wouldn't even know how to say hello if you're going to sound English, of course. At least I'll continue for me. Stage two, two. So this is stage two two, so Solid. Now I need to collect all those power ups so I'm screwed. Stay in the middle, go from as soon as you see him. Oh, I missed that then. Get across it. Power 
middle is definitely ideal for that bit. I'm just going to run past this bit because i got a shield. A bit tricky to kill without getting hit. I time it in. It doesn't hurt that much, does it? That's not a bad tactic, actually. Quickly jump past them and uh, get on the wall by a uh, turn around. It'll be a bit quicker. Though. as before. Definitely a tactic of doing this. Yeah, I think that definitely works, isn't it? How are you supposed to get past that? Okay, this is all new now. Eh? Boss approaching. Oh, great. If you've got to be up a bit higher. <laughs> right, 
right, so how do I... Okay. bike level. And what is she saying now? Stage two, four. Right, two, four. Well, they're firing missiles at me now, great. Emergency. It's a bit of a bastard that, uh, you get hurt if you bump it to the side. I don't know where I'm overly fast on these bike bits. God, I'm glad I got that. Power up. Don't need to risk it, full power. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Okay, that's the furthest I've got so far. 2 4. I'll have to get it on an emulator, I think. Maybe get it on the PlayStation Mini. And then uh, get some safe states going. Yeah, I don't know how you dodge that. You can't jump or anything, so... It's always a bad time you see Ocean with the name on it. Back to 5, though, are usually pretty damn good. Yeah, I think I'll have to get on a... Um... Some safe states, like. Yeah, unless there's a jump or something. Something you've got to do there. It's getting a little bit easier to get there now than it was. So unfortunately, they haven't added safe states to this yet. To be handy when they uh, get safe states and all the, um, the cores, that'd be really good. If it's possible, of course. Yeah, no worries, mate. It is time for me to go, I think. Yes, it is on the analog consoles. They did um, like a special edition of... Uh, I think it was a special edition of both of them, actually. Yeah, it was built in, wasn't it? It was quite nice. You had uh, Super Terracon Special Edition. I, there's a replay on my channel of the Special Edition. Right. of uh, Super Terrican Special Edition is a few extra things to be honest I think I prefer the I think the things they cut out was probably a good idea so right then yeah save states I think will be uh, quite interesting it is handy if you're practicing something I don't tend to use them that often but it is an handy tool, i got to admit. Yeah, and yourself, mate. Take care and stuff. No, I've, uh, I've had all the... As I say, I've had all the opposite. I just need laser surgery done. Uh, which is pretty simple to get done, actually. Uh, so, i got an opticians Tuesday, and then I'm going to bring them up to book a laser surgery. And once I've had that, I'm done. It's all good, then. Or it should be all good, then, anyway. So, hopefully it will. Uh... Right then, have a nice week mate, cheers for asking about the A and stuff, and um, so I'll catch you next weekend. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe if I fancy a random, uh, a random sort of uh, stream in the week, you never know. Whatever I decide. Anyway, cheers buddy, catch you around, cheers for everyone else for hanging around. Sorry I didn't speak Portuguese. Anyway, catch you around, ta-da!